Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 12 of my Minecraft 1.17 survival let's play. Today, we're doing something special, okay? It's our spooky movie special. So, it's Halloween today, so happy Halloween to everyone. I'm recording this technically on Thursday, so I'm kind of lying, but this is the Halloween special. I'm not really lying about it being a Halloween special. This is the spooky movie special. So, to start off the spooky movie special, we're going to go do something dangerous with our newly enchanted armor, uh, which we got with our amazing enchanting tree right over there. So, if you missed last episode, I'll go over and briefly show you what, you, what we did, but you can kind of tell by this path, we have kind of revived this village. We haven't changed the structures. Um, we just kind of cleaned everything up because it was a very nasty village before. Like, the paths were very messed up, and uh, yeah. Things look a whole lot better now, if you can't tell. I mean, a whole lot better. You can actually walk through the village. I mean, look at this. Isn't this wonderful? I thought it was really cool. I, I genuinely enjoyed doing this. So, but today, it's all about being sp Ooh. Today, it's all about being spooky. So we're going to do some dangerous stuff. We're going to build some spooky stuff. It's going to be an action-packed movie. And as you can see, about two hours long. So you're going to be with me for quite a while today if you watch the whole thing. But anyways, let's get started, uh, this seems appropriate, by going to the nether. Let's do it. Oh yeah, and in the first episode this week where we built that thing, we also uh, moved the cow pen a little bit, made it a little bit bigger. So, that's awesome. So, into the nether we go, I'm kind of worried. So, if you guys remember, there is a bastion right in front of my portal. So, we're gonna go there and see if, uh, see if we get wrecked. Let's really hope we don't get wrecked, but look at that, dude. Oh man, <laughs> maybe I should wear some gold. Hmm. Should I? Should I probably put on some gold? Um. So I have everything to make a furnace. So let's go around and let's see if we can't find some nether gold, and just uh, put on some gold. Cause, oh man, there's just a high risk of dying while in here. Okay, let's just not go that way. We're gonna like uh, not die. That's the goal here. Um. But I think the first step in not dying is definitely getting some sort of golden armor. Cause otherwise, yeah, we're gonna get wrecked by those um, piglin traders. So. Hopefully there's some gold. Usually it's pretty common, man, but I'm just not getting any right now. I don't see any. What the heck? Am I like blind? Do I, I don't I don't see any. No? Oh, that's that's a dangerous hole. I see this little bit right here. These guys are gonna attack me off the bat. I might as well step in front of this. How much damage are they doing? Okay. This is gonna be tricky. Any more? No. Okay, so let me get this gold. Hopefully enough to craft like some boots. I don't think this will be enough, but I'll run around and get some gold and I'll come back in a second when we can make boots. And yeah, today's food of the day is steak because I think we're going to need the protein uh, going in that bad boy. Oh man. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I was going to say we need to craft a crafting table and then hopefully this doesn't explode. Awesome. I know you guys, I, I know it's the bed that explodes, I know. But yeah, just some gold boots because that's like the least important armor and Lisa now will not be attacked. Okay. Oh, dude, I genuinely am nervous. Please, please do not, please do not let me lose the world over this. Please. Oh, please, dude. <laughs> that would be the worst way. Lose it to, uh, lose it to some, some pigs. Okay, so we'll go to this side. Nothing's gonna shoot me, right? Okay. I'm just really nervous. I'm, I'm, my pinky is like, I am pushing the shift key very hard. Like, I am pushing that shift key harder than it probably should be pushed. Okay. Okay, off the bat, we're already getting some, we're already getting some action here. Yeah, that, that was... I bet this one will be good. Oh, come on. This is a long-range battle. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come on. This is embarrassing. Yeah, let me get it. Please, let me get it. This is, like, impossible, dude. You're moving in a way I cannot angle this. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Alright, well, we're doing okay so far. Let's get in this bad boy. Um, I'm gonna enter it, like, you know, properly. So they won't start to hit me or kill me or anything like that. Um, and at least until I... Wait, they already want to kill me? Now hold on, we, we can talk about this. We can talk about this. These guys are very tough. How much damage do they do? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're out of here. Wow. Bad, bad, bad call on my part. Bad, bad call on my part. 
Dude, I thought I was dead. <laughs> Did he really take half of my health in one little swoop? Dude, he hit me one time and that was half of my health. I don't think we're equipped for this. I thought this was a plan in the episode, but like genuinely, I don't think we're equipped for this. That was insane. I th my life flashed before my eyes. It was like, if I don't run away, I'm dead. Okay, let's see just for a second. I know this is nerve ra it's nerve wracking for both of us here. Okay, I do see a chest off the bat. At least maybe we can get one chest down. Where did that guy go though? Gold block. Why did it hit the pigman? Why did it hit the pigman? Why did it hit the pigman? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. 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 Oh, why did I hit the pigman? Dude, they're coming from all over the whole world. We gotta get back. Oh, dude, this is... Please don't start shooting me. We're out of here. We're out of here. Oh, why did I do this? Oh, I hate the nether, please. Okay, the spooky movie special. We're canceling the spooky movie special. No more spooky movie special. Oh, no more spooky movie special. No, more spooky movie. no, 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 no. no. <laughs> How am I going to get home? How am I going to get home? I don't know how to get home. Oh, no. I'm tearing up right now because I think I've just lost this world. I don't, I genuinely, I don't, I don't think this is possible. This guy could shoot me off the bridge. These guys just want to kill me. I can't, I can't hit them. Oh, no, and now they're coming over. Dude, rest in peace, Neo. We, we, we had a good run, boys. Let's try it. We're, we're not going down like this. We're not going down like this. We're getting out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> they should kill themselves, right? Yeah. 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 That's right. <laughs> okay, they can't. Okay, I'm not even going to risk looking at what. I, I was hoping to see if they died or not, but I'm just getting out of here, dude. I'm just getting out of here, dude. Well, we tried. And <laughs> almost died. What? Hey! The, the heck? Why are you... Dude, don't tell me this is the death. <laughs> I'm dying from a baby figment. Oh, okay. So, we're not gonna go to the nether. Um, apparently, one of those gold axe boys will kill us with literally a uh, one, two swoops and we're dead. Well, that's that. We need full diamond or netherite protection for. I don't think we could get that yet. <laughs> okay. Well, that's okay. We don't necessarily have to go there. Uh, I do need to grow some pumpkins. It is Halloween, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna go grab my pumpkin seeds. We're gonna grab grow some pumpkins for something super special. Let's go do that real quick. So I grabbed our two pumpkin seeds. That's literally all that we have. Um, just two. I'm not sure where the rest of them went, but it's okay. Alas, it doesn't matter. It's enough. For now. And I probably have bone meal. I know, I know I have bones. And you guys told me earlier, I'm going to test it out real quick, that you can bone meal, um, that should be switched, uh, that you can bone meal flowers and it gives you more of the flowers. I was not aware of this. I had no idea. So let me try this real quick. So what about these big boys? <gasps> what? Dude. Oh, that makes me very, very happy. That actually makes me extremely happy. Wow. Okay. Well, cool. So if you don't know what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to build a pumpkin patch, but not just a regular pumpkin patch. I think we're going to build a mega giant pumpkin patch and not just like a large lot of pumpkins. I mean, a pumpkin patch made of giant pumpkins. <laughs> so if that gives any indication as to what we're going to do, good. If it doesn't, well, you'll just have to wait and see. So let's just let these bad boys grow up. There we go. And Go ahead and do the same there. Okay, no more no more torches. So let's go get some bone meal. And if you guys remember, I did find a skeleton dungeon. So we can like very easily just like turn into like, we don't even have to really build a spawner, right? We just have to kind of nudge them into an area, have them fall. And I can just get enough, I can get a stack of bones in like 10 minutes AFK. So we'll do something like that. Uh, I could have them just fall and just give me the loot. But literally the, the dungeon I think is like right over there it's not very far away but I'll uh, time-lapse this real quick
Well, hey, I'm glad I actually remembered where it was. So here we are at the Skelly Dungeon. And of course, it's an interesting shape. And of course, it is like the literal tiniest dungeon possible. I've never seen one this small. Uh, but we can get some we can get some skeletons pretty easy, and you know they're kind of easy to fight. So I'll just sit here for a bit and grab some skellies. Um, we can honestly just have them like get pushed, like into a hole like this. See, you just have them fall into a hole, and then you just kind of block it up like this. Super duper easy spawner, and then they just fall into a hole, and uh, you just kind of whack them. <laughs> it's like the best kind of spawner. You you you. you just you don't really build anything you just kind of come over here and you just whack them it's great okay so i'll see you guys in a bit when i have enough bones okay so i built this little marker for when i want to come back here we probably don't have enough bones so i'm sorry I'm, I'm gonna keep waiting i know i don't have enough bones uh, but i just kind of wanted to build a little uh a little something just to kind of mark this area and uh, i think this will work nicely because you can kind of see that from a mile away if you know what i mean because um, I almost was uncertain where I was going and that wouldn't have been good and I'm sure there's a few down here Oh, wow. Wow, you guys are all armored up Am I gonna get anything special? Do I get some armor? They're much harder to kill, that's for sure Thought they would give me armor. Okay, there we go. Oh, I guess they were just like transferring the armor Oh, I don't have any room for it But you can see this spawner works pretty well. I'm actually really happy with it. We have 16 bones so far, which is not bad what does that bow say? That's not a bad bow. But I can't really come. Wait, can I combine bows if they have enchantments with, like, with other bows? Okay, let me see here. Where's that other bow? If I combine these, does it? Yeah, it takes away the enchants. So there's no point, and I don't want the bow anyways. So, wait, what's on the what's on the gold chest plate? Thorns one. Okay, never mind. So, I've made some improvements. If I can kill these guys real quick. See so, you what's. Know, Skeletons are an appropriate mob to be killing during a spooky movie special, but I made this area feel a little bit better um, You know, it was lacking stuff before there was literally nothing here got 27 bones, but look at this Got a nice little uh, got a nice little area here um, I don't think we'll leave this bed here, but you know, of course we can put the bed down and sleep um, But yeah, I'm really happy with this area. It's like a little miniature mob farm So whenever we need some bones, we can just come on over to here uh, we'll Probably fill in this a little bit. You know what? We we could use the stairs, add some depth, look at that. So, uh, you know, nothing super impressive, uh, but it but it works, right? And that's all you really need it for. Maybe even, can we click that? Can we click that? We, we could even do this, guys. To even upgrade it even more. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. You just kind of terraform the area around it a little bit. Hmm, hmm. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> So yeah, just a nice little area. I figured I'd do that because I was just kind of sitting here and I was bored and like now skellies spawn while I'm building, so it's perfect. Look at that, guys. I even upgraded it some more. So now we got some supports in here. I don't know where this cave le- Ooh, wait. Oh yeah, do you remember that? I said I'm going to have iron in here when I come here and I'm going to be happy I found this. Heck yeah. I literally remember that now. I was like, I'm going to come back down here at some point and find this iron and be like, heck yeah, I left myself some iron. So there's that. Um, but yeah, you can see I had some supports in here. We'll do one final round of killing. I don't know how many are in there, but they're really close to the spawner, so I think there can only be like 16, I think is the most. Uh, but either way, I'm happy with it. So let's see how many bones we end up with. If I can hit them. So you kind of hit their dead body, kind of, like, you know, when it falls over. So we got 38 bones, which is quite a bit of bone meal. Might as well get these since they just fell into our lap, literally. And... Cool. So we got a good bit of gunpowder. Or, uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Bone meal. And, uh, yeah, I'm a fan of this thing. So now when we come over here, we got a nice little base for us to hang out in and uh, get a uh, bone meal at. So I'm going to run back uh, to our base, and then we're going to do uh, some stuff. So I'll see you in a bit. All right. Well, here we are back at our newly renovated village. Absolutely wonderful. And for these giant pumpkins, well, we're gonna need giant vines. And how do you get giant vines, you say? Well, I would tell you green concrete. So, <laughs> I know, it sounds kinda weird, but uh, and I wanna build a retaining wall here uh, because like, it's just bothering me how it's so like, not in line, you know, with the rest of our build. So let's go ahead and just start that. We don't have to do it right now, but let's at least start it. That way I will not forget. 
and it's very simple I just drop in the cobblestone and we're done because I've wanted to do this for pretty much the entire time I've had this retaining wall so let me dig this out real quick okay there we go for the most part I'll have to remove some more stuff in a bit uh, but I don't what is what is going on with that oh there was a grass inside of there okay very clever grass very clever indeed so we'll just leave this like how it is for now. I wanted to go and check on the bees. Uh, I guess we'll have to do that because we're going to the desert right now anyways. Uh, just let me go into my tree here and see. We already have bees over here. We don't even have a giant beehive yet. I was hoping we could get Silk Touch, but I, you know, I don't have 30 levels. So wait, wait, we have Silk Touch. We have Silk Touch. We have Silk Touch. We have Silk Touch. Okay, this spooky movie special just got amped to the max, dude. Let me tell you right now. Okay, let me put this stuff up real quick. Okay, before we do this, let's go ahead and... Where did that picture just go? Let's go and make a new shovel. Oh. It just disappeared for a second. That's okay. I, you know, I was worried that it was gone. But if it just wants to disappear randomly and then come back, be my guest. Okay, so yeah, I really want to check on... And the reason I got this stuff uh, was that... I So I could get more flowers, namely the blue orchids. I really... It doesn't work on small flowers. So it only works on these ones. Which I can click really fast, which is great and all. But I was wanting the, <laughs> the blue orchids so bad. Oh, okay. Well, you guys were right, but only partially. I guess you can only do it, maybe at least on Java, at least. You can only do it on the big boys. That's okay. Um, at least we have a fair bit of uh, big flowers now, I guess. I don't... Cool. I think these ones look better than the the pop poppy. What are these peonies? Yeah, but we'll still get that many of those. Okay. Well, now we have tons of flowers that we can do whatever we please with. For instance, I'm gonna go ahead and put a few of these down since I have four extra on me. Just go ahead and put them down. Um, we're not gonna put any more up here. I just put those there so we have two even kind of things. I want to just place them all around the base. So obviously we're going to have some around the castle. We'll have some around over here. And I, I have a bunch of plans for that. But before we do any of this, let's go check on the desert. Because we need to get some cactus farming going. I'm not going to do an auto cactus farm or anything. I'm probably just going to plant a bunch of cacti on the ground. It's cacti, right? <laughs> not like cactuses. It's not cactuses, I know that, but I think it's cacti. We're going to plant a bunch of cacti and get it. But yeah, how are the bees situation? That's what I really wanted to check on. How are the bees doing? Oh my gosh. There's so many bees. Okay, well at least now we can go around and we can collect whatever we want. Because uh, we have silk touch, so we're going to go grab these beehives over here. Um, and then slowly but surely we can build up our mega beehive, you guys remember, on the tree. Um, it's going to take quite a bit, but I think we can explore throughout this episode and probably get enough. I already know where two are guaranteed. There's one right there, and then there's one uh, down there. I just saw it. Let me get this one first. So I think you, you don't have to smoke them out, right? No, you just kind of do that. Okay. Now, is there any bees? There was no bees in there. Huh. Or no, MBT two tags. Maybe that means there's two bees. Oh, does this one say two tags? Two tags. Okay, well, they're different. And they don't stack, which is fine. Oh, okay. Okay, so obviously there's a lot of bees over here. We can always come back and get them from here. Um, but I'll run around and try to get some beehives. I just don't know. You know, they're not like super... Ooh, there's some pumpkins already. Probably should have gotten those a while ago, but we'll go ahead and grab them now. It's never too late. If I get, where do we get the pumpkin seeds then? From like a dungeon or something? But yeah, as you can see, cresting over the hill... There's an immense amount of bees, like, just hanging out over here, and I don't know what happens. I guess they get to the border of the chunk boundary, and then they multiply even more. But, like, oh, I thought that was a pink sheep. But there's, like, just a ton over here, and, like, in the desert and stuff. And, like, there's no beehives in the desert, so I don't I don't, I don't really know what's going on. But they're, uh, <laughs> they're slowly migrating towards us, so that's kind of spooky. But at the same time, uh, whatever, they're just bees. Unless we make them mad. If we make one of them mad, you know how they swarm you, we'd be dead. We'd be dead. And maybe we can use that to our advantage with some sort of trap for the bees. Oh my gosh, dude. They really are migrating at an extreme rate. Oh, wow. Okay, so they're getting closer to our base. <laughs> they're getting really close to our base. Okay, let's just... Uh, and like every... You know, when, you, when they're unloaded, they don't fly, right? So when we get near them, they start to fly. And it's like, I'm pretty sure that's really contributing to them getting closer and closer. Because like... 
they multiply for some reason on the chunk. It, it's some bug with the game in this version, which is okay. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to having a little uh, bee hunt. Um, even though, you know, in real life, I love bees. But in, in, in Minecraft, when there's like 300 of them, it causes a little bit of lag. Lag, as they as they say, lag, if you're from the northeast. So you say caffy, say lag, lag, lag. I don't know. I'm going to get cactus, and then I'm going to run around in that, uh, whatever, I forget what it's called, acacia, what is it, tundra, wait. Is there a dungeon? Wait, 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 is this a dungeon or is this just a cave? You tell me right now, dungeon or cave? Where are my torches? Oh, how many torches? Yep, just a cave, okay, we're out of here. Sorry to disturb you, skellies, didn't mean to, uh, ruin your party, but yeah, let me get a bunch of cactus. Okay, yeah, it's called the taiga, right? That's what this is called, the taiga biome. Taiga. No, this is the savanna. Oh, whatever, dude. It's close enough. So we're looking for beehives uh, mainly. I have enough cactus to where I can probably multiply it. Um, we may actually not even need more than this. I really don't know. But I really... Oh, is it a dark oak forest? I like that. I did not realize we had one so close to us, um, but I'm looking for beehives. I'm looking in all the trees, you know, I'm running pretty quickly, but I'm looking in all the trees just to see if there's any beehives because that's what we really need. Um, we need a total of three, three, so that's six. And then another, wait, no, that's 18 beehives plus eight beehives. We need 26 beehives, right? Yeah. Cause there's three on the bottom. We'll leave the middle hollow. Um, wait, three, yeah, so nine, and then nine, and then three, three, and then two, so that'd be eight plus nine. Wait, <laughs> 18 plus, okay, hold on, 18 plus eight, so 27 beehives, we have two, so we'll slowly amass them, I'm not saying we're gonna get them all right now, but we can at least, you know, do a little, like, a little bit of exploring, and find out what this dark oak forest holds, because I have I wouldn't be surprised there's a woodland mansion here. I'm going to say it right now. I wouldn't be surprised at all with this seed. I'd just be like, yep, that's that. <laughs> and now wouldn't that be spooky? But no, I don't think this is far enough away from spawn. And this is where that, uh, that ocean starts. So yeah, I don't know if beehives can spawn on dark oak trees. I assume they can. I have not found any flower forests. Maybe we could go adventure for one. But like... The chances of just stumbling upon a flower forest are probably slim to none. So I'm not going to like, you know, count my, uh, I'm just not going to do that. <laughs> that would take forever. Ooh, have we already been to this abandoned portal? Probably not. We would probably would have gotten that gold. Um, but one thing I don't see is I don't see any bees, uh, which probably means there's no beehives. So I'll check this out. I'll run back to the base and, uh, we'll get started on the pumpkin. Oh, blue orchids. Okay. We're going to get some of those. I had forgotten where the swamp was, and now I know. It's over in... Excuse me. It's over in uh, this direction. Let's see. Is there even a chest here? Oh, come on. I know there's a chest here, right? Yeah, okay. Sharpness three. Heck yeah, dude. I'll go ahead and take that, just because that's kind of killer. Okay. Uh, I don't see any beehives. Maybe there'll be some beehives in the swamp? Hmm? Potentially? I don't know. But, ooh, pumpkins. I'm going to go to the swamp. Wait, oh, I'm already here. <laughs> I'm already here. I guess I saw some blue orchids, but probably some even closer as well. Are there? What is that? Oh, I thought I just saw... I thought that was like a tower. I was like, there's no mods installed. So I like, I don't know what's going on right now, but apparently a random tower has spawned. Okay, here we are at the blue orchids. I promise no more running around. We're going to start doing some stuff now. Um, I just really <laughs> wanted more blue orchids, as you can see. I tried to multiply them. Turns out that's not how it works. Not how it works at all, and I don't see any beehives. So I'll run around here, look for beehives. I'll run around here and also look for more blue orchids, and I'll meet you guys back at the house, unless I find something cool like a beehive. Hey, look what I found. In the middle of the plains biome, too. So that's kind of rare. I guess, wait, do they always have beehives in the plains biome? No? Okay. Well, hopefully the bee will... I think I saw one bee fly in there. Honestly, I'm not worried about how many bees we have. Does this one say one tag? Well, they all say two tags. Maybe that's just two like areas for information. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, there's a beehive. I'm headed back now, by the way. Uh, but I figured I'd show you if I find the beehive. Guys, I see some bees. Oh, and I see the beehive. Heck yeah. So that leads us for a total of four beehives. Uh, we need 27. 
So we're not close, but we're getting there. We're not close, but we're getting there. So yeah, I will snag you up. Yep, you just went in there. Go ahead and go in there. Thank you. Does this one say more tags? No, they all just say two. Okay, so they just say two. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Well, I also just found one of the more rare structures in Minecraft. You don't really find very many of these, uh, very many of these desert wells, and they also don't really have anything. But why they never changed them and added like a little chest or something? I don't know. Could put some saplings in them or something. Who knows? And there is our pillager outpost and our desert temple right next to it. So we're actually super close to home. Man, we even got bees that have flown all the way out to here. I mean, th th this isn't from a beehive around here. This is just from them being all bugged. Um, I kind of want to build an entrance on the back of this thing. Because there's no real way to get to it right now. Um, but I will go... Oh, and I got perfectly a stack of cactus. Pretty satisfying. Let's go put these down at our house. That way, you know, we'll actually have some home bees. You know, some bees that stay around the area. Um, so I'm just going to build a 3x3 three three giant beehive if that's not what you already had inferred when I said giant beehive. Um, I do not remember who gave me this idea, so I do apologize that I'm not saying your name. I think it was a ton of people. Um, I think that's what it came down to was so many people recommended it. I, don't, I didn't know who to, like, stay and, you know, give credit to. Um, but here we go. Okay. So, I don't know, can they get, yeah, I mean, they can't get in that beehive technically. We don't have to put that one there. Okay. Are they? Okay, maybe they're just in the beehive. I thought they were flying out and, like, disappearing. I don't even, <gasps> oh, I was like, I don't even know at this point. Um, okay, so what I want to do is I got a bunch of pumpkins. We're going to go plant those. Oh, 64 C. I didn't realize that one pumpkin gave you four seeds, so let's go plant all 64 of these. We're not doing a pumpkin patch necessarily, we're just going to do like a mega sized pumpkins, like 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 a pumpkin thing. We're going to basically just grow a ton of pumpkins, like a, like a ton. I, I know it's kind of, maybe I'm not explaining this correctly, but we're going to build a giant pumpkin patch, a, a, a pumpkin patch filled with giant pumpkins, how about that? Okay, so here's the last little couple I'm going to build here. We'll let those bad boys grow. I do want to build like some scarecrows. I know I don't have the stuff for them right now, but I want to put some scarecrows in my wheat field. I'm inspired by those scarecrows. So they're just some fence. Yeah, I see you looking around. Look, I can zoom in even further. I could technically do this and then zoom in through like one of those actual magnifying glasses you can craft now, the spyglass. That would be an ultra zoom. But look at that. We got our first bees. Yay. And, uh, you know, we'll build that thing up over time. Like I said, it's just not really possible that we build it right now because uh, we don't have enough stuff. Now, one thing I needed to check on is do we have enough stuff to make concrete? And I know the answer already is probably no. We have 30 levels, so let's go make... Uh, I'm going to have to throw the 30 levels onto, uh, onto a pickaxe. I can't, I can't bring myself just quite yet to do it on a shovel we already did it once but we don't have enough levels to uh, mess around with that so we'll just take the enchant off of that because it's kind of it, no no we should oh we could enchant this and then combine it because either way we'll get something good yeah we'll do that we will just make a diamond pickaxe or a diamond shovel sorry we used the other diamond shovel that we had crafted and enchanted um, on our village restoration, but now we should be able to use it a little bit more slowly to get gravel and sand and then with those things combined with some green We can make some concrete So I didn't put the cactus in the furnace, but it's okay That'll be like the shortest thing we have to wait on the longest thing we have to wait on is getting enough pumpkins to make giant pumpkins because the pumpkins will be three by three So absolutely huge <laughs> It's gonna take quite a while. Well, that's not good. Well, that's, that's not good. It grows on the, grows on the trap door. Huh, I didn't realize that. Okay, so we'll enchant this thing. Let me grab the lapis. We'll enchant this thing. Um, even though it's almost dead, it doesn't matter. We're going to combine it. Yes, fortune three. Woo, let's go, dude, let's go. Okay, and then we just got to combine these two in the cheapest way possible. Cheapest, oh, not 22. We'll do it with eight levels. And we'll call it... I, I hold on. The s spooky pick. We'll do the spooky pick. Uh, we'll do another O there, and then a big O. A big O. Spooky pick. We should probably capitalize. Oh, why is it doing that? 
Okay, let's capitalize the P. Let's let's be proper. The spooky pick. Okay. And then we'll just see what we can get a light enchant on here without very much stuff. So efficiency two. I will take it. It's not the best, but it's the best we can do for now, which is fine. So I say we go mining at some point um, because I'd like to get a bunch of diamonds so that we don't have to worry. We only have three diamonds. I mean, it's, hey, it's a two hour special. We can put like four episodes of content basically into one episode. So yeah, let me go check on my gravels and sand supplies, but I'm almost 99% certain we do not have enough of either. I'm sure we have a little bit of gravel and a little bit of sand. Uh, ooh, we have 49 gravel and zero sand because we don't really need windows in a build like this, you know? Like there's no, there's no real purpose to having windows. So let's see if I have any extra. Okay, we can go ahead and take that. Yep, there it is. So that stuff will smelt up and that's all the green dye that we need for our vines. And now let's go get the rest of the vine material, AKA, yes, yeah, yeah, I'm sure these bees are very happy. There is a ton of flowers around here. Uh, but yeah, let's go get some sand and gravel. Obviously sand is super easy to get. Uh, we'll just run over there and get some, or actually, you know, let's, let's, let's run the other way. I don't want to be near the pillager outpost and get pillaged. That would be nice. Dude, it's still just cracking me up how many bees are here. I mean, this is absolutely insane. Like, we're in the middle of the desert. There's no beehive around, and they're just chilling. They're just having a good old time. So, I don't think I need, like, a ton of sand. I don't want to mine it, like, super close to my base. Um, honestly, I'll just go over here and make, like, a little pit to get sand in. And it shouldn't take too long. I mean, I'm, I really don't need that much sand. Probably, like, two or three stacks of sand. So, I'll get that, and then I'll come back with the sand in hand haha -ha. okay so there's our 64 sand and now we got to get gravel which is a little trickier don't mind that that's where I got dirt uh, but now we got to go find gravel um, no I don't remember where like a big cave system is but we we don't need a big cave system um, any sized cave system shall do I remember there being skeleton activity somewhere around here oh well it wasn't this cave but this will do um, honestly, any cave is fine. Now, we do have the spooky pick. Uh, we don't have any coal, but look, we can get iron in it, it rapid, unprecedented rates. Look at that. 14 iron, 21 copper from just a little tiny thing. And then coal, which I know it's dark, so hold on. We'll fix this. This is so dangerous. There could be creepers in here. I'm just standing there. Let's see. How much coal are we going to get from just, like, mining this little vein? Because this makes, co this makes coal, copper, and iron mining so much more satisfying. Because you just, you don't have to mine as much. Like, let's see. This one vein, is that over a stack? Oh, yeah. Easily over a stack. So now we're going to be rolling in the coal, rolling in the copper. Oh, yeah, dude. And I've got some exciting ideas for the rest of this episode. Uh, of course, I, we do need to go mining at some point. Um, we may save that for next weekend. Who knows? Uh, but I do know that while I'm down here trying to look for gravel, I should probably get... You know some iron and stuff I haven't seen any gravel thus far but you know typically in caves it's fairly common so I'm sure we'll find it before too long here just gotta kind of walk around a bit and we'll see a big gravel pocket exposed definitely the best way if you're not near one of those mountain biomes with gravel is uh, going in a cave and wow <laughs> I say that and then there's absolutely none in there but hey we need the coal so let me get it okay let's see what we got from that oh my gosh <laughs> Okay, so what can we throw out that we don't really need? We don't need that. We don't need one stick. We don't need gold nuggets. We don't need one sandstone. 11 fence. Nah, we don't need that. Don't need the dirt. And we don't need... Well, we'll keep the one pumpkin. Um, but yeah, I'd say three stacks of coal is pretty good. Over a stack of iron, we were down here for less than two minutes. So that's a pretty good haul. Is this another pocket? Yeah, might as well. Let's just see. Let's see. We'll see what we get. How much did I say we had three stacks? And now we almost got four. Insane, dude. It's been a while since I've had Fortune 3. You know, it's been... What are we on the 12th episode? The spooky movie special. So it has been quite a... Quite a... Quite a bit. It's been quite a bit, that's for sure. I don't remember in the last c series when we got it, but... It wasn't very early on. Okay, so like I said, I heard skeleton activity that one time, and I found the cave room, and I was like, nope, nope, nope. Because I thought it might have been a dungeon. It was somewhere right around here. Like, I, it wasn't that cave. I hadn't, I hadn't found that cave before. I swear, it was somewhere around here, wasn't it? These look oddly like holes. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. 
Oh, oh, skelly hole. Oh, ooh, an axolotl. Oh, creeper. Creeper. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> we didn't even do anything. Yeah, we don't have to do anything. They just they just hurt themselves. Well, what are you doing, buddy? Let me scoop you. Yeah, we got a bucket axolotl. Heck yeah. Hey, <clears throat> excuse me. I just got my second ever axolotl. Can you please calm down, dude? Where'd you even go? Oh, you're hiding in the corner? Figures. Dude, there's a lot of skelly activity down here. There's a lot of skelly activity down here. Jeez, dude. <laughs> what is going on down here? It's like Skelly Central over here. Get a perfect stack. There we go. Ooh, okay. Let's uh let's let's do this the smart way and not die here. First of all, I need my sand back. Man, there's so many. What are you guys doing? I see the creeper, I see the creeper, don't worry. I'm watching creepers. Don't worry, I got this all figured out. I got it all figured out. I don't know how many hits are left. I think one, okay. There we go, at least we got the bones we needed. Now, is there any gravel down here? Okay, there has to be a dungeon. Confirmed another skelly dungeon. Confirmed skelly dungeon for sure. This is like eight skeletons in one small area. Where's the dungeon? Oh, not, okay, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I'm not getting tricked by a ravine. I've died uh, I've died before in ravines and survival and I know and in hardcore you're gonna uh, same fate same fate I'm just surprised I haven't seen any pockets of gravel. You know what I mean? Like they're not that rare. It's gravel, but like uh, I don't even want to think about going to the end yet. I don't I, I am so scared of the end in hardcore I don't I've almost died so many times fighting the ender dragon and not even you know things that are my fault. I don't, I don't see any gravel, dude. This is so strange. Like, it's obviously, I mean, it's gravel. It's not rare. It's all over the world, but there's none here. None at all. And I'm sure I've missed some somewhere. And you guys are probably yelling at me like, Neo, it was right there. And I'm like, ah, I'm sorry. And I am sorry if I ever miss it. Uh, but I don't. Yeah, I, I just seriously don't see any. Okay, well, I'll look around for gravel. I'll keep going in little caves, and I'll let you know if I find some, because um, it's getting a little long in the tooth, me running around looking for gravel. It's not too exciting. Bees. And look at that, dude. Some gravel off the bat. And look, even more gravel back here. Even more gravel back here. Cool. Okay, well, I'm going to get this gravel, and I'll come back in a bit. Okay, well, I, I, I give up on looking for gravel. I know there's gravel, like, right here and stuff, but, like, <laughs> I don't know why I'm ha It's like the one time you want to find gravel, it's like, nah, dude, we're not gonna... We're not gonna show ourselves that. We're not gonna show you our hand that easy. So, we haven't found very much gravel, but, you know, we have uh, almost three stacks, so maybe that'll be enough. We don't need, like, a ton of concrete. This is basically... Okay, I'm gonna try to avoid that at all costs. Um, this is to build the vines of the giant pumpkins. So we do need it. It's like a requirement. Um, and let's hope that we were close enough that some of the pumpkins have grown. I see a few. Uh, maybe like one or two. Is this bee still stuck here? I'm pretty sure this bee has been stuck in this one little spot for like a long time. I'm going to help him out because I'm a good person. And I hate to see a little tiny bee just stuck and unable to move. So let's go over here. Almost got my sword out. <laughs> I don't think that's what I need to do. Buddy, you just, you gotta, can you, okay. There you go, freedom, freedom, there you go. Now go join the other two billion bees in our world. Okay, I'll meet you guys in the treehouse. We're gonna do some green concrete crafting. Well, it looks like this is a common occurrence that bees just get stuck on fence posts. Because uh, <laughs> this bee is also stuck, so maybe just gotta push him a little bit. Uh, e e Maybe they're just eat. Maybe they're eating the fence. You know what? Your guys are dripping honey all over my melons. Yeah, what are you doing with that? Not a good idea. Um, hopefully, we were close enough that the furnaces were smelting, <clears throat> or the furnace was smelting. Let's see. Uh, was it in there? Yeah, it's in there. Okay. Now for concrete, I think it's just. I think it's three of each or four of each. I really don't remember. I I, I can't remember. I guess it's four. Okay. So how much is that? Yeah, that's yeah. We'll we'll have enough for sure. Why can't I craft any more? Oh, it's five. That's not right. Okay, that's right because we have less of gravel, so it'll be like this. Okay. 
No, put that there we go. Okay, gravel. Gravel. That's all the gravel. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll be enough. Jeez, dude. Might have gotten a little bit too much. We'll put this in the rare chest. People were making fun of me, like Neo putting axolotls in the rare chest. I'm like, dude, I've never had any of these, okay? And look at my chest. That is a wonderful chest right there, filled with very beautiful things. So unorganized. But you know what? I'm. I, I, yeah, I don't have a reason for it. It's just not organized. <laughs> okay, let's go make this concrete into actual concrete. <clears throat> now. I had some bones, yeah, we, so we can go and grow some of these, uh... That is a terrible noise. It's like... Like, I don't want to hear... <laughs> I don't want to hear that. I'm gonna walk out of my house and bees, like, playing in honey or whatever they're playing in. I do want to remove that sugar cane, too. We don't need to have that there. Um, but let's go ahead and grow a few of these. Oh, let's go ahead and grow a few of these. We'll just take that out to prevent that from happening. Okay, and that way we can get our pumpkins quicker. Hopefully, we'll, like, we'll get enough by the end of the episode to where we can actually do this, because it might take a while to get that many pumpkins. Um, but yes, the best way that is ever to get... Um, if I can speak. The best way to get uh, concrete ever is to put it in your offhand, do like this, and just hold them down. See what I mean? Yeah. So I'm going to get some concrete real quick. There we go, guys. That's all the concrete. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let me get the rest. And you know what? I don't think we're gonna need the rest. We'll, we'll keep this with us. Uh, we're gonna actually craft a little bit of a chest to put up here uh, because we're probably gonna want a little project area for this stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and just put all this into there. We'll go ahead and take that out of my hand, put the torch back in my hand. We don't need the gold block with us, but whatever. Let's go spruce up this area a little bit. Um, putting some flowers around it, maybe it'll make it a little bit less scary. You know, it's a zombie dungeon. It's full of zombies um, that do not like me and would love to hurt me if they could. Um, but they're unable to, luckily. So, that's good. I'll just put a couple of flowers around just to liven the place up a little bit, right? Just, just a wee bit. And then I wanted to do some stuff that I've been meaning to do for a long time around here. And that is build some dirt paths, because I, for some reason, had just not done it yet. <laughs> so we have this nice shovel, and uh, we need to decide where the paths are going to go. I'm already getting low FPS, and I know it's because of the bees around here, dude. The bees are messing with me, man. They really, truly are. So this one's four blocks wide, which is fine. This little area right here can be four blocks wide. It be perfectly four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, look at that. Maybe the main path can be this wide. Um, obviously, we'll have a little path go into here. Okay, so maybe the main path can be this wide. I really don't know. I'm just going to kind of mark where the paths are going to be. So we're obviously going to have a path going to here. Okay, and then a path going to here. And I'll kind of widen these out. Obviously, they're going to be bigger than this. Um, and then maybe we should have a straight shot path over to there as well. So we'll just kind of kind of mark out the boundaries of where it's going to go. Something like this. And then just right over to here. And then we'll, yeah, might as well just have a path right here too. So kind of nixes our whole plan about having the big potato farm and all that stuff. But that, that was long gone. Okay, that was that was a long time ago. So now I'll time lapse it and we'll build a nice little path area. It's gonna be, it's gonna be really cool. Oh, I don't have the fence, but I'll go grab fence in a bit. Right, guys <clears throat> we have our paths built um, you know in, in, they're pretty wide which is a good thing you know you don't want them to feel cramped um, maybe they're a little too big in some areas I really don't know but either way it's nice to have paths around here instead of wandering around on the grass 
And uh, now we can go around and actually add flowers and stuff. So we may go gather some flowers here and there. Uh, but I do know that, like, for at least right now, while we're waiting on the pumpkins to grow, uh, we could just very well just put down these flowers. So nothing special. Um, but once we actually get some more flowers of different types, we can add those in as well. Uh, I'm going to have to sleep here, aren't I? Don't want to die, so we will sleep. Oh, man. The beginning of the series when we did the gas and stuff. I seriously had no idea, and I gotta remove this. That was never supposed to be there. Uh, this pond is fine, of course, but that was never supposed to be there. So I'm just putting the flowers down. I realize now I'm just putting the wrong type here, but that's okay. Um, and then obviously we're gonna have to add a bunch of other flowers. These are just like the ones we have. <laughs> We don't really have very much of the other kind, the little uh, one high flowers, I guess. Like, we really don't have very many at all. So I'm just trying to put these down a little bit sparingly. I really like the way the pinker ones look more than these. Uh, but this will at least add some life to our area. And so maybe it'll finally stop feeling so sterile when I walk over here. I always walk around and I'm feeling like, oh, it doesn't look very good. There's really nothing around here. I can even put some flowers back in here. Look at that, guys. Already looking so much better and then of course, you know, we're gonna add all the other flowers on the ground uh, But for right now that looks great to me. I think that's pretty cool So let's go Let's see how many flowers and stuff. We might already have a bunch of flowers in here uh, We learned last episode you can only bone meal the big ones mm, can't bone meal the small ones or Maybe we learned that this episode. I don't know. Oh wow. Okay. We still have a good bit of extra flowers And did I ever plant the sweet berries down? I don't think I did I think I honestly had forgotten that. Uh, we have the ferns. We have those. We could grow some bamboo. Yeah, I'd be down. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, not really. I don't want to plant grass. And uh, yeah, I think that should be good. So let me just put all this stuff in my inventory. Obviously, this is not enough flowers to do the whole area. But hey, at least we can get started. And I'm going to want to till some stuff as well. If we can plant some uh, wheat seeds. The, hmm. Maybe not wheat seeds. Do we have any potato? Ooh, we got some potatoes. Can plant some potato. Oh, you just plant the actual potato. I was trying to make potato seeds. Now that's not right. Let it. Let's let's go down here though. And uh, we we gotta do some more spooky stuff. I'm just thinking like this is a spooky movie special. And what have I done? Why can't I plant the? Oh, wait. What? Oh. Dude, I'm so smart. <laughs> I was like, what in the heck is going on? Did we only plant one beet? I thought we planted beets all around. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll take our one extra beet seed. That was very generous of you to give us a whole extra beet seed. Did I not plant more beets? Yeah, I did. Okay. I was like, man, I swear I planted more beets, but I don't think... I think that's all of them. Okay. And uh, we can make this garden look a little bit better over here. We can also dig it down in some spots. It's like really kind of like flat I guess should probably make it a little bit bigger as well just to kind of mirror the shape of this thing just a little bit bigger not a lot hopefully this will kind of all fill in by itself I think it will actually maybe no what if I put one water bucket over here no okay one more water bucket is it gonna do it no okay one over here in the corner yeah yeah, there we go. Okay. Have it go right there. That's perfect. And then maybe flatten it out a little bit. So we're just going to kind of, you know, mess with it a little bit. I don't want to, you know, mess with it too much and make it look weird. Uh, but I do want it to be a little bit bigger than it is right now because it's a little bit small for this area. There we go. Something like that is absolutely perfect. Okay, cool. So now we have a big pond. I want to put my axolotls in here, but I... I, 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 I feel like they would like run away. I mean not run away, but like they would get lost and not come back here So I'm worried about putting them in here, but you know what? Maybe if, if they really want to run away they can I guess uh, Wait, what's down below here? Oh, I was gonna say I thought there was something below here. Okay, let me dig the pond out a little bit deeper I'll come back when I'm done. Um, I just want to give this pond some depth instead of it being so flat So I'll be back in just a bit here Okay, sweet. So we'll plant one beetroot right there. Plant one beetroot right there. We'll plant one right here. And this is what I mean about having spread out farms, okay? Like I said, you can have those mega farms like that, but it's just not as fun, you know? It's having like these little spread out farms. I've always liked doing them. 
Um, and then we can play at the potato. So we could do a potato here, potato there. We could do a potato there. We could do one there and there. We could do one right here, there. I don't know how many uh, spots of potato this is. We'll figure out together. Do we have enough room for all this? And I think this will look really good. And we can actually harvest it, you know? We don't have to, like, just, you know, not harvest it. That's two extra potato. That's fine. And then we can fill in a few of these flowers. We don't want too many flowers in here. Make this more of a croppy area, you know? And then we, uh, we have a couple of corn flowers. So we'll put a couple of corn flowers down as well. And then we'll throw some bamboo in here. Mm hmm? How about the boo? A little, a little bit of boo? Yeah. 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 But the problem is, is it grows super duper tall. So I may end up regretting putting bamboo here. But you know what? For right now, that looks good. And then I don't want to put... I want to put the... If I'm going to put sweetberry bushes down, I'm going to put them down to where I don't really walk into them. Because... Okay, they don't hurt you when they're in their small form, but you guys know what they do. They end up just hurting you all the time every time you walk around. It's like, I don't want to deal with that, okay? I'd rather have them kind of far away and uh, segmented from the rest of our plants. Okay, what else do we have? Five blue orchids. Yeah, now you bet I'm putting these in the front row, dude. You bet. Okay, and we'll put one more over here. Put it right there. Okay. What other flowers do we have to work with? Okay, we have one poppy. So we don't really have that many flowers, I'm realizing. We have a lot of these yellow ones, which is fine. Uh, these can be a nice filler flower. We could just put a bunch of these down everywhere. Um, just to make sure everything looks good. And man, I gotta eat. Your man is hungry. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know, I said I wouldn't just eat steak. But this episode, we're gonna eat steak because we're gonna be in the bastion, but... We quickly found out, now I don't know if it did half of my damage as health, like, or half of my health, like, as damage, or if half of my health was already pretty much gone and I didn't realize till in that moment. That very well could be it, <laughs> which would be kind of funny if that was actually the problem and I, uh, just kind of freaked out over nothing. And I don't really want to find out, like, I, I, already you're hurting me, like, I don't want to go back there and find out, you know what I mean? I could find out. But that's one of those things like, I, oh, really, dude, you grow that fast? You're already that angry? I wish they wouldn't hurt you like no other crops have to hurt you. Why do, why do they have to hurt you, man? What's their problem, dude? Okay. This is already making our world look a billion times better. Let me tell you right now, this is paying some big dividends in the looks department. Oh, yeah. I'm loving it, dude. Cool. So I'm done with the plants. I'm going to go put those up and uh, let's work on something else. Do we have any pumpkins? Yeah, good bit. So we can build a couple of scarecrows. Ooh, let's do it. Exactly. That, that's right, Sam. That's right. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm proud of this world. I keep saying it. I know I've said it before, but it's the truth. I'm proud of this world. And it's looking good. You know, it's got a different theme of plants down there, which is perfectly fine than up here. You know, you don't want everything to look too similar. Um, but let's go get those pumpkins. I did clean my inventory, thankfully. It was really bothering me. And man, that one's growing quick. You, 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 you do you, guy, I guess, if you want to grow that quick. Pretty cool. And this will give us more than enough. So it looks like it's a hay bale. What are you looking at me from? I thought he was aiming at me from over there. I'm like, dude, what are you expecting to happen here? So these guys we're going to make into carved. Oh, and they give us seeds. I did not realize that, okay. So I don't think planting more of these would be necessarily a bad idea, and I'm glad I, I almost put that up, so I'm glad I didn't put that up. So we'll just make more room. I know some of these are conflicting and they won't be able to grow, whatever. I'm not looking for maximum efficiency here. We have an hour left, so surely we'll get enough pumpkins in that one hour, right? Like there's no way that in one hour we won't get enough pumpkins. At least that's my thoughts at the moment. And did I just... Oh, dude. Okay, so this is going to be the tricky part. Is that you can now mess up water if you take it from the wrong spot. It's okay. we got to remember to take it from the edge. Just take it from the edge. Okay, we'll put this here. And we'll just put some pumpkin seeds right there. It's like the worst spot for them. You know what? Whatever. It doesn't matter. And sure. Okay. So let's put the axolotls there. I feel like that's a good idea. Uh, just do these guys first. I did grab this, and I think we have a ton of hay bales. 
if I'm not mistaken. I may have to modify this um, a bit. Um, you know, because I'd rather have them be... I'd rather have them only take up, like, one spot. So we'll just kind of, like, break this and then put it... That's not right. How do I... Okay, there we go. And then put this... Oh, man. This is going to be tricky. I'm going to end up breaking a lot of crops. It's okay. It's okay. We'll we'll put them back in a bit. So put this here. And then we'll put this here. And then we'll have boom and boom. So they're just a taller version of what the pillagers use. So if you don't mind me, I'm just going to go build a bunch of these in our uh, in our area. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Nice. Okay. I think that's probably enough. I know I could make one more, but honestly, I think our fields are safe now from the many crows. Okay, we're going to fix this. This is a problem. I don't want to fall in there and die. I'm going to try to do this carefully here. Yeah, go ahead. If you can hop out, that's fine. There's a chicken jockey down there. That's interesting. You don't see many chicken jockeys in the world. It's actually really rare. Okay. I don't even know how you, how you guys even spawn in here. Oh, I guess there isn't that much light in here. Okay. So we'll fix this up. That way we quit hearing all the groaning and grumbling every time we're down here. Or every time we're like in our base, we always hear that because they're just spawning like right here. Hey, I can't blame them. It's dark and spooky. I'm going against the spooky movie special. We're making spooky things to... St we're preventing spookiness. That's okay. That's all good. All right, so all this is filled in. No spiders, no zombies can spawn in here now, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Oh, we'll build up with sand. We can actually build our dirt blocks back. And then uh, turn into path what we need to, and there we go. Uh, none the wiser. It's it's totally not there. Look at these. The pumpkins are growing. Okay. And obviously, all these pumpkins are going to like go away once we have enough. I'm, I'm hoping for like three or four stacks of pumpkins. Uh, we should probably go back to our skelly spawner and just get some bone meal so that we can speed the growth up But would that take longer than actually sitting here and waiting for them to grow? Probably not so we're gonna run and go get some we're gonna go get some bones at our spawner So I'll meet you guys over at the spawner Hopefully the marker helps me find it too Okay, but actually before we do that Let's build the retaining wall that I wanted to build over here for quite a while um, it will prevent us from getting up, except the ways we're supposed to. But is that necessarily a bad thing? I don't think so. Um, the only question is, do we actually have enough cobblestone to do this? I actually think the answer is no. <laughs> I don't think I brought enough. Actually, I brought all that we have, so we will have to go mining at some point in this episode. Hopefully, we can actually get the giant pumpkins built. I mean, if we don't, we're never going to build them. I wouldn't build them if it wasn't for the spooky movie special, right? Like, so hopefully we can actually get it done. Probably we'll be able to. Probably. Okay. Yeah, we're getting low. Okay, well at least we started it, I guess. And then we can kinda we can kinda break out what we want to be uh Why do I hear oh, Okay, you're near the village. I'm running away and hopefully they despawn while I'm gone. Okay, see you guys at the spawner. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that, I'm just not. Oh yeah, look at that. The first thing I see is our marker, so heck yeah. Actually works pretty well and hey it looks classy because it's gold. Okay, well here we are at the big beautiful, actually it's not very big, the small beautiful spawner we built. It feels like we were here so long ago, but it was just at the beginning of the episode. And, uh, ooh, look, we left her. Okay, I'll leave myself some wheat in there in case things get dicey. Um, so I'm going to AFK here, just get some bones, and I'll come back when I think I have enough bones. See you in a bit. Okay, well, I'm going to automate this because I don't want to, like, have to kill them. And uh, I want to be able to just, like, completely sit here AFK. No, I don't have any wood. Luckily, we are in Minecraft, and we can just walk outside and go grab some wood. So we'll go and do that. We'll grab some spruce wood. I don't even think I've gotten spruce wood before. I think that's one wood type I have not picked up yet in this world. So let's see. You get an achievement, like, let's spruce it up. No, just new recipes. You know, you'd think they'd add something like that. That'd be pretty clever, you know, like, let's spruce it up. Wouldn't that be like, let, like, uh, are you oak? A, you know what I'm saying? Like, you get some oak, you know, jungle would be like jungle fever or something. Like, I, I don't know. Like, you know, you get malaria. <laughs> I don't know. Why don't they have something is my question. 
Okay, and three is perfect because a double chest and then one hopper. Okay, we're literally just gonna have them fall 23 blocks. I'm all I'm gonna do is just go down here and just dig an exceptionally large hole, and uh, we're gonna need to get more wood because I need ladders. So let's go out here and let's grab some. There are these mega trees over here, which I do like mega trees, uh, but they sometimes. Is that a creeper? Why? Why? why, why, why from where? Why? What? Why did you? Wait. Ugh! <laughs> I, was, I was staring in the face of death. I wouldn't have died, but that was a little too close for comfort there. Let's see. Two trees worth uh, of ladders should be enough, I think. Like two, two solid-sized trees. We'll, we'll get three, just to be extra safe. Just to be extra safe here. How much wood is that? Twenty wood. How many? How much? enough yeah it's enough that's enough okay so now we can make some ladders to get down to the hopper basically we're just gonna fall into a hopper and then go into a chest and I can just literally sit there and not have to because you know they reach a spawn cap when they're near the dungeon like they only a certain number near the dungeon can spawn and I keep repeatedly reaching that and I'm just like wasting spawns uh, when in reality I could probably I think this may be way too many ladders oh yeah I need to fall like 30 blocks so this is like, oh, you can shoot me from there. So this is like four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Please don't be anything below me. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Just to make sure they're dead, right? Like I know that they will be dead. When they reach this distance, for sure. But you can never be, like, too, too sure, you know? I mean, you technically could be too sure, but... Nah, whatever. I digress. And then they'll fall onto this hopper. There you go. Now we just build, like, over... Uh, probably, like, that many blocks. Something like that, I think. Maybe one more over. And then we can have a clean ladder. Go all the way up here. Okay. And we could put, like, a... Little torch there. Let's see where we end up though. That's that's the big kicker. Do we end up where we want to be? I'm envisioning where this is and if it isn't, you know, we can always make the ladder go one forward and then go over or something. It's really not that hard to do. Okay, decide. Yeah, we'll just put a random piece of mossy because okay? we don't have any stone, so might as well use mossy, right? And will we dig up into the cave? I think one more set of ladders and we should be able to see. We can find out together. I don't know how much how much higher up should I go? I don't want to like reach the surface. No, I need to keep going up. Okay. Cause I need right. Yeah. Do we reach the back wall? Actually, we reached a perfect spot. That's exactly where I wanted to go. I was like looking at it in my head, and I'm thinking like, yeah, perfect. Okay, then we can just do this, do this, do this. Uh, we will organize that better in a second. And then we can just kind of put some more torches all throughout here. Uh, just to make sure this is nice and lit up. Even though you don't really need them. It just makes it feel a little bit better. Uh, and they should just fall uh, directly onto the hopper when I remove the block that's below them. And that way no light can get into the dungeon anymore. And uh, all will be well in Whoville, as they say. Oh! Okay. <laughs> We're going to have to kill these guys. There you go. Okay, and I think they're dying. Okay, cool. So now we can fill this in because we really don't need it anymore. I should probably put like a torch in there so nothing spawns. Uh, but let's go down there and check it. I want to put some stuff up here. Uh, we'll keep the bones with us, of course. Uh, but there's some things. Like, hey, I, should, I should keep the mossy cobble. I shouldn't be throwing it away because I'm going to need that stuff, man. That's like high value stuff and we don't need this anymore. We don't need this anymore. There we go. Should probably even put like a torch right here. No, no. What what am I thinking, man? You know what I could do? Yeah. I could put some Yeah, dude, that's a perfect spot. Could put a lantern even right there if we wanted. Okay. Let's go down here and let's see if they're actually dying though. Obviously we can't sit at the bottom of the ladder. We have to sit up top still, but like we'll just continuously get bones, right? Like I don't care about the XP. We already have a spawner for the XP. Okay, well we gotta put there we go. So bones, yeah. Bones and arrows. Okay, so 13 and 25. I'll wait like 10 minutes, come back, see how many we get. But now it's automated. Yay. 13 and 25. I'll remember that. 13 bone, 
25 arrow. That's how I'll remember it, okay? <sighs> okay, so I'm back. <laughs> I ate dinner, and it's now raining. Kind of spooky, I guess. But let's see, what do we have again? Oh, that's right. I had to log out and log back in. Dang it, dude. I think it was like 23 arrows, 15 bone, 23 arrows. Something like that. You guys in the comments will know. I don't even remember, why did I have to log out? Oh yeah, it's working. Heck yeah, dude. Okay, so we got our bones. All right, back to the base and let's do this pumpkin thing, man. But I'm trying to remember, why did I have to log out and log back in? What did I do? <sighs> hold on, let me think, because I'm so confused. Okay, well honestly, I can, for the life of me, I can't remember. It was like 15 minutes ago when I ate dinner, but I, 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 I don't know. It beats me, dude. It beats me. What, what did I do? I was sitting there. I don't, dude, I really, I can't remember. Okay, whatever, it doesn't really matter anyways. So it is raining, which is kind of spooky. If it was a thunderstorm, that would be better, but you know what, just some rain is fine. I have the rain noises turned down, so eh, it's just kind of like some nice ambience. It doesn't rain in this world yet, I don't think, at least not when I was here and it wasn't AFK. Anyways, I'll meet you guys back at the house. Okay, I thought I'd share, look, we're already an hour in. If you don't want to watch me, you don't have to, but uh, today, so tomorrow, not tomorrow. Well, technically, today is the first day, you know, I've ever had to hand out um, candy because, you know, I got my house on in July and, uh, you know, it's been a, it's been interesting owning your own home. It's a uh, it's a lot more than I thought, but uh, also I was expecting some of the stuff. Um, but, yeah, it's my first ever Halloween where I get to hand out candy to kids. And I just remember, you know, being a kid and having people hand me candy. And uh, it's kind of weird being on the other side of that now. You know, owning... Okay, we're not going back the other way. <laughs> you know, being on the other side of that now, owning a home. So, it's kind of exciting. Um, I haven't gotten to do it yet. Obviously, this is recorded on Thursday. I, you know, I just ate dinner. I had to record through dinner. Man, we, I've been recording for a while. A two-hour episode. It's not that it's bad for me to record. It just takes a while, you know, because I don't always show everything on camera, right? So, it's, it's not just like a straight shoot record. Okay, so how much bone meal is that? Okay, <laughs> maybe that was overkill. Whoops. So I guess I could have been more productive had I waited for more pumpkins. I don't know. Should I get the pumpkin seeds from these pumpkins and like, or should I just make sure all the stalks are matured up? We'll do that first. And then, you know, they grow about one pumpkin a day. And uh, if we need, I don't know how much, we don't have to fill in like the middle of a pumpkin. I'm trying to think how much we need. Wow, they're growing like instantly, some of them. That's kind of nice. Thank you guys for, uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I guess that they're just more prone to growing instantly or something. I, I don't know. It's kind of nice though. If only all crops were like this. Okay, grow, grow, grow. Okay, but you guys get the, get the gist. It's kind of grindy, but it's, it, it must be done. Must get all the, yeah, dude. We're actually getting a lot more pumpkins off the bat than I thought. I thought it was kind of rare for them to instantly grow, but I guess not. Because they're supposed to grow like one a day. They have like an actual rate. It's not true RNG. It's like one per day guaranteed. Okay. How many more do we have? Okay, let me do this one off camera. I won't, oh, I won't pay in you anymore. There we go. So I harvested all the pumpkins. I should have filmed that. But they're just kind of growing. I mean, they're growing pretty quick, which is awesome. So I'll just kind of sit here and uh, gather pumpkins, I guess. I Again, I, I let's see. Can we build at least one? So like the idea... The green concrete is in there. The idea is to build these giant pumpkins. So they're, you know, just like how we built it, it built in the same scale as our tree house, right? And yes, yeah, so we need, I don't even remember how many we had. So I can't remember how many we need for each one. But we can go ahead and just break this one. We're done there. Thank you. Break this one. We're done. But yeah, a giant pumpkin like this. Okay. And then, you know, we use the concrete to like make it, you know, make them connected. Ugh. If I can, okay, we'll just do that. Uh, you know, and to have like a nice, I don't know, okay? I'll try to make these giant pumpkins and like they'll all be connected with vines. And I don't know, it'll be pretty cool. The green concrete being the vines. You gotta use your imagination, okay? It's not exact, but okay, we don't have any pumpkins in our inventory besides this one. How many does it take? So I think it's 27 because it's, it's three of these nine uh, size things. Yeah, it's definitely 27, okay. All right, well, at least we know the number, and uh, I want to do probably 10 pumpkins, so that's 270 pumpkins. It doesn't sound like a lot. It's like four stacks of pumpkins. 
But yeah, I'm gonna sit here and grab pumpkins. Uh, wish me luck, I guess. <laughs> okay, I've decided to expand because I don't want to wait for like ever for these pumpkins to grow. So I don't have enough bone meal to like do a ton more. I mean, I have a decent bit of bone meal, don't get me wrong, but it takes like, what is it? One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, usually it takes three little uh, pinches of bone meal, I'll call them. So this one took quite a bit already. So we can probably do like maybe one more. Oh, that's right, I hear the nether portal. And also made an infinite water source because I'm not sure why I didn't do that before. So I'll just have a bunch of these built. I'll probably do like one or two more and then we'll call it good. But I figured I'd give you an update. So when you come back and see there's like a ton more pumpkin growth area, you will understand why. I got lazy. Not lazy, okay, actually impatient. There's a difference, right? All right, well, hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed that little uh, time lapse. Um, I'm just going to be getting rid of all these pumpkins now. We don't need them anymore. So we'll go ahead and just break all the little stalks here. So this is how much I got. I think I got enough. I, I, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I, 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 I can't see how I'd need more than that, okay? Like, I mean, realistically, that's a ton of pumpkins. Like, that's an absolute ton. So now I get to get rid of all the stocks, which is very fun. Um, they're kind of tricky to hit, you know, because their hitbox is so small. Which is probably good. That way you don't accidentally hit them in your world. But, I mean, like, I'm really having to try to hit these here. I'm like, like, do some precise aim. Like, I'm playing CSGO or something. Um, but, yeah, let me get rid of all this. Clear this out. And then we're going to get to construction. <clears throat> so, what? Uh... No. No. What? No. Just, just no. What is going on, dude? I mean, I'm trying to take these stocks down and I just get another one? Really? Are there more? Oh. Well, there's some stuff I threw out. No, there's no more. Okay. Don't, don't, don't pick up that stuff. We don't need that. Okay, so I'm just grabbing some dirt the way I can actually fill in the water over there because... I got all the pumpkin stems gone, but there's still all that tilled stuff, and uh, I'm just gonna get rid of it with a good old diamond shovel. Um, I'm gonna put the pumpkin seeds into our alive chest as well. That way we have some extra pumpkin seeds for future endeavors, uh, should we ever want to touch pumpkins again, which the answer is probably not. I, I, don't, I don't really want to touch pumpkins ever again, but if we somehow get to a point where we need more than what we already have, which I, I think I even got too many, um, but at the end, I wanted to do a cool time lapse, so I had to wait, like, I don't know, 30 minutes. I don't remember how long. Uh, but it's really late at night. I usually don't record this late just because, you know, I'm done by now. Should probably, yeah. Um, I'm usually done by now. Um, but, you know, I'm making the spooky movie special for you guys. So I figured I'd, of course, make it two hours long, just like last year. So exactly like a year ago, or close to exactly. Uh, but for last Halloween, I also did a spooky movie special. And, uh, you know, the concept was the same, a two-hour movie with some Halloween themes. So, yeah, let me fill in all this stuff real quick, and then we'll get to building the giant pumpkins. All right, guys, we got all the pumpkins necessary. Let's actually do this. So I'm not going to fill up the whole area here. Uh, I don't really know even where I'm going to start. We'll just put some pumpkins down, and that's where we'll start, I guess. Now, like I said, we don't need to really fill up the middle. Um, no one will actually know. So we'll put one pumpkin there. Put another pumpkin here. This is honestly the easy part. It was hard getting all these dang pumpkins. Um, but now we get to do the fun part. We get to put all the pumpkins down. Now I know, you know, all the pumpkins are the same size. I could do like a Megalodon pumpkin, like a giant mega pumpkin. Maybe we could do that. I don't know. Uh, but I feel like this will help fit the theme. And I don't know if we'll keep the pumpkins or not. I kind of want to because it'll fit in with kind of the giant theme. Um, but at the same time, I don't know if I always want to see giant pumpkins over here every time I, you know, play the world. But, hey, you know, there's worse things to see. Like, for instance, if your world looks bad or something and you have to look at that all the time, that would be worse. 
And hey, what's better than sleeping on a sleeping on a pumpkin? Ah, the best kind of sleep, pumpkin sleep. Okay, uh, and we'll do one more over here for right now, and then uh, yeah, we may have made too many pumpkins. Maybe we'll make a giant pumpkin as well. Um, I feel like that would look cool. Um, I don't really know how to build a giant pumpkin. Oh, okay, wait. Do we have enough pumpkins? That's the question. Let's go check real quick. I think the answer is yes. We just have to see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got enough pumpkins. <clears throat> so let's build a mega pumpkin. Now, I have this vision in my head of how big this is, but I need to, I need to be realistic about it, okay? So let's just do it. Let's do it like this. So this is the base of the pumpkin, right? And then if it's gonna be a true like mega pumpkin, it's gotta be circular. So building circles in Minecraft is not my expertise, so please don't make fun of me in the comments when this ends up looking like a looking like a potato or something. Please please don't make fun of me. <laughs> oh no. Uh, oh no, what am I doing? Hold on. I'm trying to think about how you make a sphere. And I don't my brain's like, it sounds like the dial-up noise. You guys know what I'm talking about? Sounds like that right now, so I don't think that's correct. <laughs> okay, and then we'll go up. I like one more, I think. And then top it off. So this isn't at all what I was thinking in my head, but what I was thinking in my head, I don't think I have the ability to build, really. I, I don't think I would build that correctly. So we'll put some torches in here. Uh, but I don't know where, oh, there are my torches. I was like, I don't know where my torches went. So we'll put some, put some torches in here, which is uh, an interesting, uh, oh, it's okay. Interesting thing to have to do to put torches in your pumpkin. Now, what can we put in this giant pumpkin? That's the better question. I don't really have any like areas I need to put in a pumpkin. Maybe we could do a pumpkin farm inside of a pumpkin. Ooh, pump pumpkinception. Okay, how does this giant pumpkin look? Ha! <laughs> yeah, it looks, you know what? That, that one actually looks like a giant pumpkin. That one actually looks like a giant pumpkin. These just look like cubes. But this one actually looks like a giant pumpkin. So maybe we should scratch what we have here. Scratch this. And let's just build a bunch of giant pumpkins. I guess. <laughs> oh, farming pumpkins to build them into larger pumpkins. Are you going to the uh, moon, my guy? You seems to uh, be going pretty far there. Where are you headed, dude? So I think after this, when we get the pumpkins done, we'll go mining or something. Because we'll still have like 30 minutes or so. And uh, we might as well use those and make them productive and go on a big mining trip or something like that. We could probably get some good stuff. Uh, I'm trying to think what else we could do. I mean, this is a movie. You know, maybe we could have an epic ending. Maybe we could go get a dog. Go get a cat. Something like that. Uh, but yeah, let me break the rest of these pumpkins real quick because this is kind of grindy. I realized I just started building this and I didn't even, I wasn't even recording. I was just going on autopilot. I've been recording. This is like, this is like the ninth hour of recording. I mean, it's taken quite a while to make a movie this long. So if you wouldn't mind leaving a like on the video, if you've watched this far into it, I really, really would appreciate it. Like, I don't know if you just skipped to the pumpkin part because you thought the thumbnail was cool or whatever, but if you did, Hey, that's fine. Uh, but would you mind leaving a like? And, uh, if you're new to the channel, I highly recommend subscribing, but only if you want to. Don't 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 just do that kind of stuff because people are like subscribe, please. Like don't, you know what I mean? Don't don't do that. Do it because you want to do it, not because someone told you to. Because I want people who actually want to watch my videos. I don't want people who are doing it because they got bossed around. I I, I don't want to be mean either, you know. So, uh, okay, all right. So now we need to go three more up. One, two, three. Yeah, dude. I cannot believe what I'm building right now. My brain is like fizzling out slowly. Probably not good. Now I'm debating on if I want to do like vines on these or if I want to just have like a little like pumpkin stem on top. But what would you make a pumpkin stem out of? I, I don't I think I have no idea. So I, I guess I should probably just do them like this then, right? I mean, how many more of these can I build? Okay, so maybe like one more after this. If even one more, I don't know, actually. Let's, uh, <laughs> I guess let's try it out. We'll try to do one more here. 
we'll we'll try to finish it out strong. I don't actually think I can do one more. Well, that's not good. I wanted to have a bunch, not just three giant <laughs> pumpkins. But hey, things don't always turn out how you want them to, I guess. But this isn't one of those things. This is one of those, like, I spent forever mining pumpkins, and I deserve this exact thing. I think we actually have enough. One, two, three. I don't know. Based on how many I use here, I can tell you. We're going to have exactly enough. I just did the math in my head. We will have literally exactly enough pumpkins. Like, we're going to use every single one. I'm just kidding. I didn't do the math, but we're going to be pretty close. I mean, we definitely have enough. Just not, like, exactly enough. Like, okay, if it is exact, I, I would be like, man, I should have just kept going with that. People would have thought I was smart, finally. Okay. Okay, and then boom, 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 boom. Okay, so three extra. <laughs> okay, I gotta quit looking at orange stuff. My eyes are, like, burning. Oh, oh, everything else looks so weird now. Dude, my eyes got so used to the orange. We just, we, we just gotta stare at this for a minute, because, man... Oh, that is so much orange. And look, hey, look, uh, this stuff grew up, which is nice. Everything else grew as well. Okay, back to the pumpkin. <laughs> oh, they're so large. Okay. I don't even know, dude. Okay, so we don't have any. Okay. How is this going to work? You know, like it's a stem, right? So it goes up the side, over to here, and then goes boop, boop. And then, you know, and then you just go, do, 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 do. Then this, the vine is like, oh, yeah, there's a pumpkin right here. And, you know, it just goes up and it goes, do, 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 do. Look at Delirious Neo building giant pumpkins on this Minecraft world. What is, what is life? What is Minecraft? What is, what, what am I doing right now? I'm 22 years old. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> giant pumpkin something. Ah, oh, whatever, dude. It's pretty sick, okay? Like, you know, not gonna lie, this is kind of cool looking. But now I gotta figure out how do I make it look like... 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 Like, does this really look like a pumpkin vine, though? <laughs> I mean, I guess there's only four of them, though. Well, let me, like, build up some... It's, it's, like, hard to even, like, get a gauge of what we're seeing here. So let's just, like... Let's just like build up some just a wee bit here Okay, that should be high enough <laughs> What is what is love baby don't hurt me don't hurt me No more no look at that. I don't know what like I don't know what I'm saying at this point, but now we have a giant pump pumpkin I already know what I need to do so I gotta go all the way back down here. Let's do that real quick. So let's uh, break this. I want to add like a little uh, a, a block there, a block there, and a block there. That way it looks like a proper pumpkin stem, okay? A proper pumpkin stem. Because pumpkins don't just like, they're not just like, you know. They're actually technically growing sideways. Like normally pumpkins are like, like the, the stem is facing to the side, right? Like they're not up and down. Oh, whatever, dude. Can you leave me alone, okay? It's I'm making giant pumpkins. We're not going for we're not going for realistic stuff. We're building with little tiny cubes. Yeah, like that, dude. Yeah, like that. Exactly like that. That's the stuff. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Let me just kind of. Yeah, sure. If I can get my torches back, that's all I care about. Okay. Oh, no, if I go mining right now, we're gonna end up dead for sure. I'm in a, I'm in a mood at this point. Okay, let's see how far can we push Neo. <laughs> it's really not that bad. I just feel kind of funny because I've been doing this for like I don't even know anymore. Yeah, there we go. Look at the, we got the giant pumpkins, dude. Okay, so we got the giant pumpkins. Uh, we've got the upgraded thing. The <laughs> yeah, we got the uh, hold on. Okay, we got the upgraded area. Okay, looking pretty snazzy. Then we got the... <laughs> oh, we're not going to talk about it anymore. No more mention of that. What's in here? Oh, okay, I can pick it all up. Well, that was a... Wait, should we carve a face into the pumpkins with pumpkins? Okay, okay. let's just see if we... Let's we'll see if we can even do it yet. Hold on. I mean... 
Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me see if this even works before I like waste all my pumpkins here. Uh. So we need five. That's five. Okay. And it gives us a seed, which I I understand why, kind of. Let's see. No. Bad pumpkin. Yeah. No, it, <laughs> it doesn't at all look like a face. Nope, okay. So no faces in the pumpkins, which means we have to go inside the pumpkin to put these pumpkins back. So we gotta literally like go go in the pumpkin. Yes, that's right. Inside of the pumpkin. Put these backwards so we don't know that they're fakes. And then we go in here. Oh, okay. Let's go do something else. I'm done with pumpkins. <laughs> I'm done with Halloween. I don't want to think about pumpkins anymore, but hey, it's the spirit of pumpkins. Let's go to the nether and see if we can die. Okay, I don't know what's going on right now. I just, I'm getting shot by a skeleton. I was getting shot by a skeleton. I don't want to be here. I don't want to die. I'm getting out of here, dude. Hey, 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 yep. Okay, so that's where uh, those guys went who I was trying to film, and then they... Okay. Really? You know what? No. No. You, you don't deserve... You don't deserve my respect, dude. You don't even deserve it, bro. Still never understand what the heck are these paintings, dude. Like, what? Supposed to, I know they're like, you know, low-res versions of what a real painting is, but isn't that, isn't that kind of photogenic, like this little setup right here? Anyways, we're going to go mining. I cleaned out my inventory. I, I mean, let's look at our resources. We have a full rare chest. We probably just need to organize it a little bit better. Uh, we could honestly probably put... That one's completely empty. We could put these things into here, the mob drops. And then we could actually take out the actual like ores and stuff like that. So standard like ore things. Hmm. So like this stuff, and then we could actually sort it in here. Maybe like this. Then you'll put gold there because the second most rare, and then put this here, and then put iron here, or something like that. And uh, maybe this would give us a better. I think I'm gonna be thankful that I actually did this because. This already feels a lot better, a lot cleaner than it did before. And then we have a ton of coal, so we may want to make some coal blocks. So we're not looking for coal. I think you guys kind of know. Okay. I literally said we should probably make some coal blocks. What do I not do? Make coal blocks. So let's actually just do it for once. Okay. So we'll put the coal blocks here. That's nice. Uh, we can put a flint in here. I probably missed a few things in here. It's whatever. I, I don't really care. I wanted to go put the axolotls in there. I want to put the tropical fish in there. Now, I don't know if we need to name the axolotls for them not to disappear. Do I have any name tag? I have two name tags. Okay, we're going to do... J I got to put the name tag in there. We're going to do... J wait, 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 wait. Why would it do both? <laughs> the same name. John... Okay, we're gonna do John. John is a good solid name, and then we're gonna do Jim. So we got John and Jim. And then this dude, he, well, I guess I don't have a name tag, so we'll put him in there. I should probably go get a horse too at some point. Okay. This is much less stress inducing when you look at it. Now, I don't know where a good cave is. I feel like I dug up somewhere, and I was like, I need to come back here. I think it was somewhere in the jungle, so we'll go ahead there. Um, yeah, it was that mine shaft in a ravine. That thing was pretty sweet. But let's go see. If we can name these guys. Did I? Okay. Uh. Okay, so that's Jim. That's John. <laughs> okay, so please don't leave, guys. Okay, bye. Have fun. You don't have any food or anything, but you guys will fend for yourselves. You can eat bees. There's like bees everywhere. I don't see any bees, but there's bees everywhere. I assure you, they're they're somewhere around here. I actually don't see any. Okay, I'm gonna run over there. You guys remember where that little cave was, and I'll meet you guys there, and we'll see if uh, we can get some diamonds. I'm a swimming man. Look at me swimming just as fast as I can. Okay, now I don't. Oh, <laughs> it was over there. Oh wait, no, no, it was right there. It was right there. Okay, good. I need to mark this with something because that may be, you know, I can identify it the second time. But the third time or the fourth time, can I find this same spot? Because I'm gonna keep coming back here. Because you, you betcha. I mean, it's it's a it's a mine shaft. There's so much to explore that I'll never see. You, uh, 
I don't want to use those things. Oh, okay, we could just use leaves. So what can I get quickly? I don't have to cut the camera. I don't want to use my wood. I think it's very, very good stuff to have. So we'll just do a little... Uh, Why do I have three buckets of water? Oh, the axolotls. That's right. Okay. So, I'll tell you right. I, like, I'll tell you right now. Like, dude, my brain, nine, nine hours of straight recording. It's like that one time I did a 12-hour live stream, except a little different because I'm not talking the whole, whoops. I'm not talking the whole time, so I'm sorry if I start to sound weird, dude. It's been so long. What is this? Oh, that's right. That's exactly what I said before when I went in there. I was like, what is this? So again, we don't need coal. We don't need iron. We're just needing diamonds. So we'll go look for him. Get out of here, lava. I'm in a mood, dude. I'm not dying. I promise. I'm not dying. Okay, well, it is Halloween. So, and this is the spooky movie special. So what I'm going to do for you, no paranoia. We're just going to run around full speed in this uh, cave system we're just gonna take things head on we got good armor I don't really need to worry that much I'm not gonna play it safe I'm not gonna look behind me when I'm mining. okay I may still look behind me when I'm mining uh, but we're gonna play it a little bit riskier than we did last not that risky but we are gonna play it more risky than we did last time because last time I was like freaking out and it was like yeah oh no a creeper oh no a skeleton what am I gonna do? Oh, a spider, oh no. So I'm basically just gonna play carelessly and see what happens. Maybe I take less damage playing carelessly than I do otherwise. Um, I need to get that coal that I saw. I know I saw some coal. This isn't even the coal that I saw, but whatever. Okay, because we don't have any torches, which I'm not sure how that happened, but we don't have any torches, so. Go ahead and grab these up. I'm gonna grab the coal for future torches. Okay, let's set it. No holding back. <laughs> oh no, I shouldn't do this. I really shouldn't. I might lose the world. All because I've been recording nine hours and I'm like feeling funny. Do you know that feeling you get when you stay up all night and your brain's just kind of like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like your brain is just like, yeah. Like it just, whatever happens kind of happens. You don't really care one way or the other. You've just, you've been awake all night. You, okay, really. <laughs> what kind of what kind of mine shaft is this? He, these guys were mining and they're like, well, let's go down here. Nah, never mind. It's like, but 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 you just told me to dig this big thing and you're like, ah, nah, never mind, dude. Okay, I hear water and I don't want to be in the mine shaft. I want to be in a cave. Oh, buddy, here we go. It's getting louder. Please tell me I edit the water to sound funny right there. But is it getting louder? Oh, dude, I'm smelling diamonds. Oh, dude, I'm smelling diamonds. Oh, I must jump down. <laughs> wouldn't that wouldn't that have been a shame? Where are the diamonds? Is this layer? What's oh, this is layer 15? What the heck is this? This isn't even a real. Not mm, even a real lava pocket. <laughs> no, I'm sad. I'm just kidding. We're gonna mine with this. This is so much faster. Yeah, I know we're wasting our fortune three. Whatever. Oh, we're already on layer 11. Okay. I'll mine until I find something cool. Okay, red alert. I hear lava. Okay, I do need redstone though. Can't slouch on the redstone, but I hear lava. Oh, there's more redstone. Yes, yeah, sir, I will take that. I think it's right here. More redstone. Dude, our luck is like getting a lot better right now, so I think we're gonna find. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, this is the one. For sure, this is the one. Where'd the lava sound go? Is it right there? It sounds really loud. What the heck? Is it like below us?
Oh, I'm an idiot. It was this way. <laughs> I was digging that whole time. I'm like, where is this coming from? Oh, come on, dude. Okay, well, I don't I, I don't know where this lava is. Like, I thought I did. And then we came back on camera to show you. And I keep, like, not talking because I'm expecting the lava to do the talking, but I don't... Dude, this is driving me up the wall. Where's the lava? <laughs> dude. It's like, okay, let me echolocate it somewhere. Dude, are you freaking kidding me? Oh, I'm mad now, dude. <laughs> That's what I was looking for this whole time. Are you... S mm, that makes me... Oh, yes, diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. Guaranteed diamonds. Okay, we gotta go north. We gotta go north from them, so... North four blocks. Okay, diamonds right here. Guaranteed. 100%. Unless it's on a chunk border. <laughs> oh, we already mined through that area. Oh, dude. No way. Oh, okay, there we go. I was like, no way, there's no diamonds there. Okay, so how many was that? 11. Okay. Oh, yeah, we have... I, I forgot we had a fortune. I was like, why is that so many? That was like four. But, hey, I'm always happy to have fortune. Let's actually get the lapis, too. Even though I'm using it and abusing the, the spawning algorithm, I still want to get the lapis. Okay, let's go back the other way. I'm surprised there's so many little lava flows in here. It's kind of rare to have them, and there's like three, four. Dude, I would have been hearing this lava all over. Um, Don't tell me this is a dud. Oh, oh. I was gonna start digging down, but if there's another cave here, are you serious, dude? Who does that? <laughs> you, you sick, sick game. Who does it? That's spooky right there. Okay, but we really will find another cave. Just let me keep mining. Is it just like me, or do you guys never get cave noises anymore? Like, I hardly ever get cave noises. Oh my gosh. I've been digging for quite a while, as you can see. Uh, but I feel like I never get cave noises anymore. Let me know in the comments. Is that something you guys have experienced on Java? Like, I, I play the Java version. I don't know about Bedrock, but... Okay, that's really annoying not being able to pick stuff up. But, like, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. So I'm just going to keep mining like a little hobbit here. Wait. Lava. Lava. Please. Please. Please, let's go, dude. Let's go, please. Yes. How many? Okay. Oh, and it only gave us three. It only gave us three. The world's. Oh, wait, 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 wait. More diamonds. Okay, I'm no longer angry. I am now happy with Minecraft. Four blocks north, so one, just three, and four. Go ahead and dig down. Please. Please don't tell me this is a chunk mount, a chunk border. And of course it's a chunk border. It's okay, we still got some gold, which we can't get. <laughs> okay, whatever, we'll just hop up with some water, do the speed trick. I guarantee you there's more diamonds. This is a big old cave. I guarantee you there's more. I'm not worried about creepers, I'm not really worried about mobs right now. Um, I know this is hardcore or whatever, I, I'm just not. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just not. My attitude right now, I'm just looking for diamonds. If I die, I die. Eh? Okay. Yeah, I'm not Canadian. I'm <laughs> from Oklahoma. I'm from Oklahoma. R really, Oklahoma, like, people think, like, I don't know. It's just, like, one of those states, I guess, where people don't really think about it. It's, like, Iowa. Shout out to all the Iowans out there. Is that how you say it, Iowans? I don't have a problem with Iowa. I live in Oklahoma, you know what I mean? Like, it's pretty small. It's a smaller, you know, place, but it's not like it's all in the country. Everyone talks like this down here. <laughs> it's not like that. I guarantee you, okay? You should come to, come to Oklahoma. There's Okay, there's actually not that much to do. Uh, but the housing is cheap. So you can buy a really, really nice-sized house for a relatively small sum of money in relevance to how much it would cost in a place with high real estate prices. Jeez, dude. Jeez, dude. At least we know there's a lava pocket there, I guess. Okay, this is tricky. 
tricky, tricky, tricky. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. Oh, okay, we got it. No, oh, dude! Oh. <laughs> no! Wait. No! Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, dude, okay, we got it. Wait. Okay, we have 21 diamonds. No, dude! Oh, thank God. Dude, I thought I was trapped forever. I was like, no way. There's no way no one has done this before. Oh, dude, I cannot explain to you what, what my brain just went through. The disbelief I had. Okay, well, anyway, so let's find the lava pocket that was, like, right here. It's, like, somewhere around here. Where's the top of it? Okay, it looks like there. I know this is kind of a risky play here, but... Well, it'd probably be at 11. Fine. Can I get to 11? There we go. So this is probably right here. Or it is right here. Touche. What? Uh, you know what? I'm just not going to question it. We're just going to go caving. I am tired of looking for lava pockets. I mean, a lava pocket is what led to this little cave area, but... Oh, are you kidding me? Please be more on the other side. Mm, we should also actually get the lapis, too. Okay, please tell me there's more. Also, no, I don't need that. Wait, we already went this way, didn't we? No, we didn't. Oh, this is a nice cave, too. Not bad. Okay. Oh, there's more diamonds here. Okay, cool. I'll get the gold, of course. I'm going to need it for powered rails and stuff. I hear lava around here too, so another guaranteed cave. Okay, this is a good expedition. We're gonna go north. So add one, two, three, four. And then use these two to dig down. Thank you. <laughs> easy, easy money, dude. Easy money. Look at that, 29 diamonds, not a big deal. Let's, let, let's go for a stack to end this spooky movie special. You know what I'm saying? Like, let, let's go for a straight stack. I think we got this. Okay. I heard a lava pocket, so. Well, let's make sure this doesn't lead down to it right there. No. I say I'm an idiot. It's right here. Unless it's one of those lava flows, but I don't think so. Nah, it's a lava pool. It's right here. Okay. <gasps> oh, no. Wait. Four north from that would be, like, right here. <laughs> yes, dude! I am just, I'm on one right now, dude. I don't know what else to say, but like, what? What is the chance? You know, I'm just like, oh, it's right here. And then boom, boom, bada bing, bada boom. It's right there. Okay, dude, let's hit it. Let's get it. Oh, 46 diamonds. Okay, what's four? Okay, I'm looking for creepers though. I actually am. This is not like a paranoia thing. This is like an actual, you gotta worry about this kind of deal, type of deal. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. So it was like probably two blocks deep. So one, two, three, and then four, we're gonna go ahead and dig down these two blocks right here. Be down here. <gasps> Dude, the lapis trick works too well. And we got, we got it close. Guys, we're almost there, dude. We are so close. We're at 63 diamonds. And we have found these 63 diamonds in less than 30 minutes of mining. Kind of used in, in exploitation, but also not really because literally everyone else is using it. And this is the last time we're ever going to have this underground, okay? Like, I want to see how many diamonds we can get. It's not like we're, like, using external tools. We're just using F3. It's built into the game. Don't worry about it. Is your diamonds. Okay. Okay. I'm not seeing creepers, but this, this looks like a safer ravine because it doesn't have, like, a big lip. At least that I can see. Mainly, I'm, I mean, lapis means diamonds, so if I see lapis, like, it's diamonds. Also, I want to clean out my inventory. That's not good. Just don't worry. Okay, really? Dude, okay, whatever. You know what? I'm not... Okay, there's there's diamonds here. Wait. Wait, there's diamonds here. But are we going to have to go through... We're going to have to go through the... Okay, I need to throw some stuff out. We're going to have to go through the obsidian to get there. That's the grand question here. Control Q this dude? Jeez. Okay, so four blocks north. So this is like one, two, three, four. So you need to dig down like realistically like right, right here. 
Why am I not using my pickaxe that has efficiency? Okay, okay, that's painfully slow. Now this will be quicker. Yeah, it is a lot quicker. But if there's diamonds below this, dude, I'm 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 never playing Minecraft again. No, so I think that was a chunk border. Wait, wait, no, no. Oh, no, diamonds could have spawned there, but there was a ravine, and it basically meant empty air, so they didn't spawn here. Okay, that's why. I was just confused. I was like, man, I thought there would be diamonds there, because they couldn't be above that, because that's above 16. Interesting. Huh, unless that wasn't four blocks. I think it was close enough. Okay, so we got to find one more thing of diamonds to call this... Uh, Call this spooky movie complete because there is no way on earth. I'm leaving here without a stack of diamonds There's just no way Like people are gonna come back next weekend and be like dude. What happened? <laughs> why are there why are, why do you have how, how did you get a stack of diamonds you cheater and I'll be like you know what? Go watch the spooky movie special to find out what happened. Okay. Anyways, let's uh Wait, how do we get in here here yeah, right here? Okay, let's just go back to that cave because right we were continuing a little adventure from a cave so if I happen to uh, go the other branch way here is there anything aha ah okay well that makes me think is there any uh nah, it's not a big deal um is there any caves that kind of lead into this thing I can kind of play off of I wasn't looking for them but I'm sure there is you mean to tell me this intervene intersects with no other caves? Okay. Is this even north? Yeah, it was north. I don't see any other caves in here, dude. No way. Okay. Huh. You know what? Back to the drawing board, guys. We're going undercover. Or underwater. Or Come on. Let me. Let me. There we go. Okay, let's do it. I hear a zombie villager. Um, okay, I'm gonna keep digging, I guess. I don't know, I heard one, but now I don't. Is that lava? No, okay, I'm gonna keep digging. Dude, I was just digging, and I just... I was just digging. Let's go. 64 and 4, guys. That's what I call music now to go back up and go back home mining mission complete I was gonna say mining mission complete just like a robot or something but yeah we did complete that uh, I actually set a goal so this is how it ends thank you guys for watching I appreciate the support on the series Okay, I thought I was <laughs> what if I actually like you know like like was kind of messing with you guys and went to the very bottom and then those last three pieces that dropped killed me <laughs> oh dude people would be people would be people would be angry with me over that like legitimately angry like I'd receive some angry like messages and that would be that would be funny let me see how long this episode is because I don't even know if it is it even over two hours close to two hours I don't know well, it says it's an hour and 53 for me, but I know there's a few time lapses sprinkled in there. So if it doesn't actually end up being exactly two hours, that's probably why. Because I cannot determine what the length of the squished down video clips is going to end up as. Right? Like, if I record for five minutes, I don't know how long that is when it's sped up all the way. So when I look at the total length of what I've recorded, that it's showing the time lapsed footage before it is time lapsed. But it says one hour and 53 minutes right now. Which, you know, of course can change. Is there going to be sand that falls on me? What is... What is... <laughs> what if a creeper just fell on me, dude? I would be very upset. Okay, well, it is a spooky movie, so we probably should, uh... Take a peek. Nope, there's nothing here. Where am I? Okay, well, I see a jungle and I see bees, so I immediately assume that I am near my house. Um, yeah, there's a giant pumpkin. Now, naturally, I think giant pumpkins can spawn. Are you serious? Really? Really?
<laughs> oh, I feel evil, but I gotta watch this. You can shoot at me all you want, dude, but you know it's coming for you. You know it's wait, can skeletons not drown? Okay, dude, get out of here. The bobs are trying to invade. Okay, so I guess skeletons don't drown. You know what? Whatever. We'll just leave them in there. I don't really care. Let's go look at the giant pumpkins. Um, I'm kind of curious to see how they look now that I've been away from them, you know, because when, when you're near something and you're building it and then you look at it, it looks different than if you build it and then you run away and then look at it again. I don't know why I have a bed and I don't know why I haven't slept. Okay, am I far enough from anything right here? Did I just, did I just fall through my bed? I think it just straight fell through my bed. That's fine. Okay, where am I running? Yeah, this is the right way. I just, I have to see these pumpkins again, <laughs> at least before the spooky movie ends. So last year we built a giant pumpkin patch, like a giant one with like these swirls. It was very opulent. This year I chose to go a different route. I'm serious, dude. I'm trying to talk to... Thanks. Um, I'm... Uh, <laughs> this year I took a different route and I built like a giant, uh... I don't know what it's called. A giant pumpkin. And it looks some giant pumpkins and it looks pretty I'm try, sorry I'm trying to focus on getting up here I built giant pumpkins and I think it looks pretty good you know it's there's not as many as I was hoping for you know four of them is no well, it's not that many um, but I am gonna be adding giant flowers to the world pretty soon <gasps> wait wait okay we gotta we, we gotta put at least a couple of giant flowers before we stop here because I have some in my ideas world that look really really cool Wait. Okay, well, let's... Uh, before I do anything, I'm gonna put up some stuff, and we're gonna see if we even have the materials. Don't get too excited yet. We may not do them until next episode, but I think some giant flowers may be in order. So let's put up... Oh, man, we gotta make blocks out of some of this stuff, dude. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Seven diamond blocks. Not a big deal. Just, you know, casual. Ha ha ha! I can't believe I got a whole freaking stack of diamonds in one 30 minute run. Absolutely incredible. Okay, we gotta make redstone blocks now. At least I held true to my word and I got a lot of redstone. Okay. Sweet. And then I just gotta put up things like stone, materials. And then of course, oh, I take those off. I gotta put my iron up. My arm. Okay. So, let's see. Do we even have the stuff? Because I really... I think we made most of our concrete already. We use, okay, we have our gravel. Do we don't have any sand anywhere. We really don't have any sand. Okay. Because I was going to say, we could do this. We don't need that much stuff. But you can't, like, re-dye it. So, we'll take the gravel that we do have. Um, I'm looking for some dyes here. What color of dye would that give you? If anything. Because we're going to need some orange. I'm going to do red dye, right? Blue dye. I'm pretty sure this makes red dye, right? Really? So lapis makes blue dye. This makes light gray. This makes yellow. This makes pink. Okay, what is yellow and pink? I guess that would be brown. <laughs> what is yellow and blue? Nothing. What is blue and... Okay. Okay. So we can't really, oh, actually, you know what? We can make a flower with these colors. It's just not what I was envisioning, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, hmm. Blue and yellow. Blue and yellow would look good. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We are going to need some green concrete, though. So we already have more than enough. Okay. Let's just go get some sand, and uh, we'll at least do one big flower. Just to kind of show how it's going to look. Because I'm excited to do those flowers. I actually planned those a long time ago. And I honestly kind of forgot about them until this very second. I was thinking, you know, these look awesome. But they look awesome next to some giant stuff. And I'm getting sand. Why am I going towards our village? It's not good. I almost stole their sand. Let me go to the desert. Let me get sand. I'll meet you guys back here. Shh. I'm in the desert. Let's see. <laughs> I'm being kind of lazy, but, you know, it's inside of a river. You can't really see it all that well, so it's not like a big detractor or anything, right? Right? Okay, just gathering up all the sand. And how much was that? Oh, perfect. Okay. Let's go over here. Let's see how much that actually turns into. Yeah, no, we have more gravel than sand, so it's fine. 
Yeah, we do have more gravel in the sand. Wait. Okay, does it really matter? Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like trying to make these numbers even, but it really genuinely doesn't matter because we don't need very much of each. Oh, dude, this world looks so good. Like, this is one of my best worlds ever, I think, by far. Hey, and they're still here. Jim and Jim and Tom? John and John and Jim. Wait, what? Jim? Yeah, Jim and John. Okay. John and Jim. Which one is it, guys? Is it Jim and John or John and Jim? Let me know in the comments below. Okay. So, we'll need a crafting table. Um, and we'll need a little water. Why did I already have water? And we'll need a little water area as well to make the concrete. Okay. So, we need four of each, right? Yeah. Okay. And then I want to do some yellow and some blue and then some pink sure okay and that should be good for now right like i don't think we're gonna need more than that right now and now comes the fun part that i will time lapse because it's kind of nice to watch I don't even know how this happened, but <laughs> it was just kind of sitting there. Okay, and then that's all of it. Sweet. Okay, so we have 32, 32, and we got 64 of that one. Awesome. Um, we're not going to need that one. My, whatever. We, we keep you. Wait, what happens if you combine them? Oh, they lose their enchantments. Okay. We're not going to combine them. That's definitely not what's going to happen. What on earth am I trying to do? I don't even know at this point. Like, I have everything I need in my inventory to build them. So what? Like, just don't ask me, dude. Do pumpkin-like vines have flowers? I mean, it's a good question. Like, I really don't know. Okay, so we're just going to do one of the straight-up flowers. So these are, like, like this. Yeah, they were like this. They went down one. Down one. Then they have these overarching blues that go on the side. Now, technically, this is done with orange and white, uh, but I think it'll look okay like this as well. Uh, we'll look at it in a second. We have to go down below to finish. Okay, then we have to go like here. And then you have like something like that. And then you can just have something like that, something like that, and then something like that is fine. As long as they're all different, just do one like that. And let's look at it. Yeah, dude, you see what I mean? You can have these giant flowers, and, like, we can build a ton of them. You can build different styles of giant flowers. You can do, like, ones that are like this. Uh, no, some of these are really hard to build. Um, why? Why can I not, like, like I'm messing up basic controls? Shift. Yeah, there we go. I was like, I can't place something down. I'm so confused. Um, but some of these are just really difficult to build. Um, you still can do them, but the ones that come off, like, in four different directions... I would not recommend really building them because they kind of, I don't know, they're just difficult to build, dude. And then you can just do like three blocks off of them like this. And then go up and do it everywhere that those three are. Even if they connect, you look at it from far and it'll look good. Okay, and then something like that. And I don't know about that one, but... <laughs> yeah, that, that one looks a little strange. They, I think they need to be... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, that looks okay. It looks more like a cactus or something. I don't know if I would use that one. <laughs> but yeah, building the flowers is kind of fun. I don't even know if I'd use that one personally, but... Yeah, I think it looks pretty good, and it is a giant flower, which is kind of cool. But thank you guys, genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, for watching the spooky movie special. Now, the secret code of today's episode, or should I say movie, is going to be... 
a spooky one, 0000. So put that down in the comments if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of today's two hour spooky movie special. That's so long, dude, for a video. I don't know how some people sit through the whole thing and watch it. Uh, but if you enjoyed it like a movie, you had snacks, you actually like watched it like a movie, that's super cool. And thank you so much for doing so. Um, I assume if you're here at the end of the video, I'm not even going to ask you to subscribe at this point. I feel like you would have already been subscribed if you watched this whole thing. But if you didn't leave a like on the video and you notice you're at the end of it, if you're even if you're watching this on your TV, would you mind pulling out your phone and taking 10 seconds to search this video and leave a like? Like, I honestly, I, I really, really would appreciate it because this thing took a lot of time to make an absolute ton of time to make. But I'm always very happy to do it. And I hope that you guys had a fun time. I will see you guys together next week. Not together, but you I will see you guys again. We'll, we'll get together on a video. We'll say that um, on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So I'll see you next week. Again, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are truly a part of one of the best communities I've ever been a part of. And the fact that this is a community that somehow I've created, I don't even, I don't even want to talk about it. I'm just, you guys make me really happy. Um, the last thing I'll say is that, what was I going to say? <laughs> That's what happens when you're recording for 10 hours. Uh, what was, what was I going to say? Um... Uh, I really don't remember, but leave a like on the video if you appreciate it. Uh, I, I'd love to see how much support we could get on this video. Uh, but thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Bye! I just remembered what I was going to say. I had to load back into the world to tell you this. I have hearted and read every single comment on this entire series. So probably over 30,000 comments I've read. Maybe 24,000, maybe 20,000. I don't know the number, but way over... 10,000 comments. I have read and hearted every single comment. Now, obviously, you guys say, well, Neo, how's that possible? You probably just spam, click the... No, because it, most of the comments and a lot of them, and it helps the algorithm truly if you do this, are just the secret codes. So again, secret code 0000. zero, zero. Put that in the comments below if you want to show me to watch the whole video. Anyways, um, yeah, I read every single comment. Like, you guys know you have downtime through the day, and it's fine. I'm f I, Instead of scrolling through social media, I can scroll through my own social media, and I can, you know, show everyone that I'm reading your stuff. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have ideas for this world, also make sure you join my Discord server. Link is down in the description below. And uh, there's a suggestions channel on there, and I listen to everything on there as well. Uh, but yeah, you can leave a comment and I'll actually see it. So if you want to say something to me or say hi, uh, I'd appreciate it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Secret Code 000. See you next week. Bye.